So you're registered to vote, but for whatever reason, you don't end up casting a ballot. A rally this evening at the state capitol hopes to turn that voter malaise into action. KITV for Brenton, Andrew Pereira is live at the state capitol and joins us now with more. Andrew. Yeah, Yunji, that rally was being held behind me here at the state capitol rotunda. It broke down about 10 minutes ago, but the event was organized by the nonprofit group No Vote, No Grumble. And as a matter of fact, about an hour ago, Governor Neil Abercrombie's chief of staff came down and read a proclamation proclaiming today No Vote, No Grumble Day. Now, event organizers say that tonight's rally was all about coming together and performing your civic duty. Back in the August primary, only four out of ten registered voters actually cast ballots, making Hawaii one of the lowest voting states in the nation. That's a complete turnaround since statehood in 1959, when Hawaii's voter turnout was above 80 percent. The project coordinator of No Vote, No Grumble says you only need to look at recent history to realize that every vote counts. Just look at what happened in Puna this past year. I mean, if anyone out there really believes that their vote doesn't count, they just need to look at history. We've had a number of races decided by one vote. I mean, we've had dead heats in some races. So every vote counts, and everybody should understand it's not just about whether or not they can influence an election. It's their duty. Santiago says he wants to make NoVoteNoGrumble.org a one-stop shop for voters. And already on that website, you can find information on candidates and where they're getting their political donations from. Now, nearly 707,000 voters are registered to vote in the November 4th general election. However, we'll have to wait and see if we do any better in the primary when, again, only four out of ten registered voters actually filled in a ballot. Reporting live at the state capitol, Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News. Paul Nyungi. Back to you. Andrew, thank you.